In this video, I'll show you how to create a construction company website in WordPress in 2023 without ever writing a single line of code. Here you can see we have a custom header, background, and all these sections that we can fully customize. And we can use the page builder called Seedbrod that lets us drag and drop elements onto the page and simply select them and customize them however we like. This is the full website with sub pages as well. So if we come back up to the top, you can see that we have a services page, about us page, projects, contact. We have a phone number here button that people can contact you with quickly and easily. Let's jump right into it. So right now I just have a clean installation of WordPress and we have the default theme installed for WordPress. And we're going to take this and convert this into a construction website. To do that, we're going to be using Seedprod. You can find this at seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And Seedprod is used by over 1 million professionals and it's the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder. I'm going to be using the pro version in this video. So you can go ahead and click on get Seedprod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. And once you have an account set up, you're going to click on login. Here in the login on the left hand side, you can enter your email address, your password and click login. Next, you're going to click on the second tab from the left called downloads. And we're going to click on the orange button here to download Seedprod. We also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click the icon here to copy that to clipboard and you can go ahead and close this tab. Great. Back inside of WordPress on the left hand side, let's go to plugins and add new. And at the top, we're going to click on upload plugin. Here we can choose that file that we just downloaded, or you can drag and drop the zip file if you're using the same browser as I am. Drop it here and click install now. Let's go ahead and click on activate plugin. And I'm going to paste my license key right here that we copied earlier and click verify key. You should see a green success message in the top right corner. Great. Now that we have seed prod installed, we're going to go ahead and import a theme with the theme builder on the left hand side. At the top here, we're going to click on theme template kits. And I want to use the construction theme. So let's go ahead and search for construction. The one that we're going to be using today is conduct construction theme. And I'm going to click the check mark to import this. Great. Now you'll see that all the theme templates have been imported into your website. The next thing we want to do is edit the global styles. And if we look, there's actually more files here. There's two pages. So let's click the next and we can see the global CSS is on this page. Let's click on edit design. And here you can see a preview of what all your styles will look like on your website. So here you can modify your colors, your fonts, background, buttons, forms, layout, and add some custom CSS. Each one of these expand and you can change the settings. For me, I just want to make simple changes with the button color here. I'm going to import this green color that I like, and I'll do that for the buttons and for the text as well. Now we can preview it here. We can see the green text here and the buttons itself. There's also a hover there though that I would like to change. So let's come down and look at buttons. And if we click on the hover state, we can see that it's not changed yet. So let's go ahead and change this to the green. And then I'll just make this maybe slightly darker. Now we can see a slight effect on the hover. We can see that on the links as well. So if we come back up to fonts, we can come down to links and we can click on the hover state and we can do the same thing. Simply make green and make it slightly darker. Perfect. Once you're happy with all your settings, let's go ahead and save and I'll close this. Next, I'm going to enable the seed prod theme here in the top right. There's a little toggle and I'm just going to click OK. And let's go ahead and preview our website. So here we can see the construction website that we imported. So you have a fully functional website that you can customize completely without any code. So we're going to go ahead and work on this. This website actually has two different headers. We have a unique one here for just the home page because it's over a large background here. It has a transparent effect. And then all of the sub pages here actually have its own shared header that is used across all of the sub pages here. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to modify these. Go ahead and come back to the WordPress admin area and under seed prod theme builder, let's sort these by name. And here we can actually see those two headers. We have the main header here that goes across the entire website, except the front page. So these are the conditions. And then we have the header section transparent, which is a part that we can include anywhere we want in the website. So this is being included on our front page. Let's go ahead and edit the front page version to start. And here we can see the seed prod page builder. We have the blocks on the left that we can drag into our page on the right. So for example, if I wanted a button here, I could just simply drag it in. Here, I'll delete this. And here we can see the purple section and then all of the blocks inside here. Let's go ahead and modify our logo. I'll select this cog wheel for the block settings. I'm going to remove this, delete this one, and I'll use my own image. So here I uploaded a new logo. It's a white color, so it's hard to see there. I'll select this one. And there we go. We can see that was updated. Next here we have our menu. We can click on the block settings. And we're just using the simple menu type. You can use a WordPress menu as well. These are the built-in menus on the menu screen that is inside of WordPress. And the benefit of doing this is that you can use it anywhere across your menu system in Seedprod easily, or you can use the simple menu, but this will be unique per header. So here I have home services, about us, projects, and contact. You can simply click on one to expand it. 
change the text if you like, the link, open a new window, or add no follow. You can duplicate these if you wish. Now you can see the duplications. You can change the name and add another page. You can delete them and you can add new pages down here with the button. You can change the order by dragging and dropping and you can change the font size here, make them bigger or smaller and the space in between to make them more compact or spread out. We also have a divider here. For example, if you want a pipe delimiter, you can see that that puts one in between it. So as the alignment and any advanced options for the list layout, topography, text color, etc. Lastly, here we have the button. Let's go ahead and click the block settings for this. Right now we're just pointing to a phone number and the link that doesn't really work. So people would call the number. You could change this to maybe contact if you want and get rid of your contact element here. So people could click this and then link it to the contact page. Here you have the size and an icon if you want to change it. Here's some default template settings if you want to change it quickly and advanced options again for the styles, spacing, attributes, etc. Once you're happy with your header, let's go ahead and save this and I'll X out of here. Right now, if we come back to our website and refresh the home page, you can see that our logo and our menu and button updated if you made any changes. However, our sub menus here are still the same. We have the old logo here. So let's go ahead and update this one. Again, we'll sort by name and I'll look for header. And this is the one that goes across the entire website. Let's click edit design. And I'm just gonna simply make the same design changes. For example, here's the logo. I'll use my own, I'll select this. And then we have our menu changes and any button changes that you made. Let's go ahead and save this and I'll X out of here. Great, now if we look at the sub pages, we can see that the logo has been updated. Great, now if we come to the bottom of the home page, there's a footer that's used across every single page. For me, the color blue with the logo and the light background doesn't seem to match the top on the sub pages and other pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and update the footer. So we'll find the footer and let's edit the design. First thing I'm gonna do is change the logo here. I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna use the same white one that we used before. I'm gonna actually change this background to a dark color. So I'm gonna change all the text to white. So we'll select the text block there. You can update the text by just typing it in the text block. Change the alignment and font size if you like. And under the color, we'll change it to white. For the headlines here, for the menus, I'm just gonna change this to the green color. I'll do that for each one here. And then again, the menus here, which are simple menus, you can update these easily and change these to white. Let's go ahead and select the purple section here on the back and change the background color to black. And we can see that the logo is a little bit too big. So let's bring this down to maybe about 200. There we go, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and we'll close this. And again, if we refresh and preview this, come to the bottom of our homepage, we can see the new updated footer. Great, now that our header and footer are complete, let's go ahead and modify the home page. Let's go ahead and we'll look for the home page template and I'll click on edit design. So here we're gonna see the two headers. This is the one, it's actually hidden on the front page, but we see it inside of the website builder. We can actually click the eyeball here to hide that. And now we can see the one that we imported into this template. So the next thing I wanna do is pick a different picture for the background. So you can select the purple section here. You can see the cogwheel there, or you can just click on the background. So this one has a picture here that we're gonna delete. You can use your own picture and upload it just like the logo, or you can use a stock photo here. I'm gonna look for my unique photo here that I wanna use. I'll go something with maybe tools here. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we can preview it. And then we can see the background picture. So this looks very good. Let's come back to the page builder and I'll select the blue row here. Next, we'll select a background color and I'll select black and we'll take the opacity here and we'll bring it down. This allows us to see the text a little bit better. And if we come under advanced, we can come under the border and the border radius. And I'll put a 20 on the top left, right, bottom left and right. And you can see that it changes the curve here. Let's go ahead and save and preview quickly. And you can see the changes. Great, now if you wanna update the text, you can simply select the text block here with the block settings. This is the headline. And you can just type in your text here. You can change the alignment, the font size, if you like, the level, and then the advanced settings for custom topography, color, text shadow, spacing, etc. And this works the same for all of the text anywhere on the website. You can select the next one here and change this if you like. And then lastly, our button here, we have, we can change the text here for our projects. And this is linking to our projects directory. Now my website's actually on a subdomain here installed. So I want to just update this and I'll put slash temp slash projects just so that link was working properly. You can change the size here if you like. If you want a bigger button, you could do that and you can change or add an icon as well. Here we have the templates and the advanced settings. Let's come down the page and we can select the next section here. Again, for the text, you just simply select it and you can update this if you like. Same with the button here. I'm just going to change the link here to update for my website just to make sure that it's working correctly. Here we have an image that we can use and we can change this if we like. I'll delete this one, use a stock photo and search for a new photo. There we go, that works fine. And if we come down, we can select the next section. Here there's a background picture, we select the section. We can delete this one and add another one if we want. Here I'll come down and I'll go with something that has a little bit of a yellow tones to it so it matches the rest of the website. And we're actually using the full screen cover fixed. And by fixed, that's what gives us this sliding motion here, that parallax effect. 
So here, you, again, you can change the text if you like. Seems to be a lot of white here, so I'm just going to change this text here to green. So the headlines will be that green color that we used earlier. So we can get, go ahead and update this. I do find that the text is a little bit hard to see, so maybe you could use a different picture if you want to. Something that actually fits and works. And there we go. I think that looks fine. Next, let's go to the next section. It's just all text here. We do have some counters here, so if I save the page, I'll show you what I mean. We can refresh, and if we come down the page, you can see them count up right here. So you can customize these by just clicking on them, and you can see the starting number and the ending number. You can add a prefix or suffix, the animation duration, a thousand separator, separator here, and then the text that's underneath it. So we have completed projects, ongoing, million, the project handover, etc. So you can customize these to say or, or show whatever number you like. If we come down, we have the services that we provide. Again, this looks fine to me. We have a dark background. You could update the text. We have the pictures here that you could simply change like we did before. The only thing I might do is maybe add the green here that we had before. You don't have to do this, but I just like adding a little bit of color here so it pops off the page a bit. And then next we have this section, how we build. Again, some text, but this time we have a slider here for the before and after toggle. So here you can click and slide. So you can do a before and after. You can change these pictures and customize them. So just select the picture here and the after picture here. We actually have labels as well. So if I type before and after, now if I hover over, you can see the text that's here. So you can change that to say whatever you like as well. We also have an orientation. So if I click vertical here, it's just going to take a second to load. And now it'll be a vertical preview instead of the horizontal. It still has that text before and after as well. So you can switch back to horizontal if you prefer that. We also have the move on hover so you don't have to click. It'll just move if you want to select that and the overlay color. I think the dark color here with the black is fine. And you can fully customize the comparison handle. That's this piece right here, the thickness, the width, the shape, all of that. And then there are some advanced options here as well. Let's come down to the next section here. It's the last one on the page. And again, you could just maybe simply change the background color to something that fits your business. And if you like, we can actually use that full screen fixed as well. So it'll move on the picture as well. There you go, and you have your text here. You can change the, the button as well. If you like, maybe with this picture, you could do the same thing as the header. So you could add a background color for the black and then maybe bring it down a little bit. And then the advanced border radius, we could add 20. Okay, great. Once you're happy with your homepage and made all of the changes that you want to make, again, we just simply save the page and let's go ahead and refresh. And there we go. We can see the customized page that we created. Hopefully you're happy with it. And then we can move on to the sub pages. Let's go ahead and X out of the page builder and we'll come back to the theme builder here. So let's just run through this quickly. Here we have a services page. So to access this, we actually want to go under the pages section. So for example, if we come over to pages and all pages, we can see that we have a services section here. Let's go ahead and edit this and we can click on edit with seed prod. And now this assures us that this is the exact page that we want to modify, which is the services. So here you can change the color of the background. We actually have a background color here. It's an effect. So if you want to change it different or have it come down with the header, that's, you can keep that the same. You could update the text. Here we just have simple columns with an image and then some text underneath it. So you can just update the text, update the image, and you can go down through the page and change that. Here we have another section and a row with a image block. Again, you could just change this to another picture that you want to add. Once you're happy with that, you could come down and change the text for this section here. Looks like it just lists general constructions and some of the different things that are offered. Once you're happy with this page, save it and close off. And we'll go to the next page. We'll come back to pages and all pages. And let's refresh this one to see the changes. Come down, you can see the image that changed. Here we have an about us. So we'll edit this under the pages. Edit with CProd. And it's the same thing. You'd simply come down, change your text and your images. Here you have a image here that you can change. So this is a graphic that you create by yourself in Photoshop or Affinity Photo or another image editing program. Here's the text. We have the counters that we've already seen before. And then here there's a message from a director if you want to add something like that here. If there's anything you don't like, you can simply delete it as well with hitting the delete row or the section itself. Back under pages here, let's go ahead under projects. That's the next page that we want to look at and we can edit with seed prod. Now this one's interesting because it shows a gallery of images and you can sort this. Let's go ahead right here. We can select the block setting and on the left hand side, we have the type, which is multiple. So we're going to show multiple galleries and each one of these sections here is a gallery. So by default, there's one here called manufacturing industry. Let's just go ahead and select your images. You can upload them here in the upload files. And then you'll see them here in the media library. I'm just going to select uh, three random pictures here and create a new gallery in the bottom right. Here you can actually add some captions if you want to put some text for each image. And we'll just insert the gallery. Now you can see that here. Now once you add multiple, let's do a second one here and we'll call this maybe welding. It'll actually show a sorting here. Let's go ahead and select three more random pictures. 
and create a new gallery. We can add captions here again and then insert gallery. There you go. So now you have one for manufacturing industry and welding. So right now we're looking at all, but if we click on it, it actually sorts them. And if we hover over, we can see the text that we added for the caption for each one. So you can add as many of these as you like. And there's also settings here for the columns. So if you want to do four wide, five wide, etc., you could change that. The spacing in between, maybe we can make it a little bit tighter. The media file, this is the link. So when you open it, it clicks and opens in Lightbox, or you can go to the URL directly. The aspect ratio, if you want to change the layout of the pictures, the image size that you want to use to load, and then the overlay options here, which I think looks fine how it is for me. Once you're happy, save this page. And again, we'll X out of here. Great, let's come back to pages, all pages. And the last one is the contact us page. Let's click on edit and edit with seed prod. There you go. I think this looks pretty good to begin with. Just simply update some text here. So you can change your company name. You have the address, a phone number, and email. And on the right hand side, we have a contact form that people can contact you with. If you want, you can click on connect up here. This allows you to connect your favorite third party email marketing service. So if people contact you, you could use one of these services to add them to an email list and maybe you could send them an opt-in email, maybe notify them right away. You can simply click on one to connect it. You can connect a new account, add your API key, which you will get from that service specifically, and then just simply connect it. If we come down, we have the maps here. This actually looks a little bit too high for me, so I'll go to block settings. Let's change the height to maybe around 300. I think that looks fine. And let's go ahead and save this page. And that should be it. Let's check our website out now. So here's the projects one that we worked on before, and we have the contact page that we just did here. So here's a final look. We have our home page here. So we have our custom header. We have our text with the buttons. We change all the images. We have the nice effect with the parallax, the counters. Here we have a nice section. We have the slider before and after and our footer area. Now all of our sub pages are also updated. Here's our services page. We have our about us page. We have the projects page and we have our contact page. And there you go. That's how you can create a construction company website in WordPress without touching a single line of code. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for using Seedprod. If you'd like to see more Seaprod content, please check out these videos. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.